how to download mods for The Sims 4. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add mods to The Sims 4 on a PC and laptop. And if this video helps you, please consider giving it a like and also subscribe to my channel because that really helps me out. And if you're trying to download mods for The Sims 4 on a Mac, check the description because I have a separate tutorial going over that. So to download mods for The Sims 4, we need to first open up a browser and navigate to thesimsresource.com. This is one of the largest mod websites for The Sims 4 and they have a ton of different mods that you can download. Once you get here, you can hover over categories in the top menu, see all the different categories available. I'm just gonna select one as an example. So go through all the mods on here, find the one that you wanna download, and then simply select it. And then in the section right here where you see the amount of downloads, the size, select the download button right here. There might be ads on the website that also have download buttons, so you just wanna be careful not to select those. Select this one right here. Once you select it, You'll need to give it some time to prepare the download. So just wait till the countdown finishes and then select download one more time and then it should automatically download to your computer. Once it pops up, go ahead and select save and then that will be downloaded. So now we've downloaded the mod. From here, all we need to do is go down and select the folder in the bottom labeled File Explorer. And then once that opens up, you should see downloads in the left menu here. From here, you'll see the mod. It should be .package if it's in a folder. Go ahead and open up the folder. If it's in a zip file, all you need to do is right click it and select extract and then open up that folder. What I recommend doing before we add this to The Sims 4 is to simply right click the mod that we downloaded and then just go down, select show more options, and then you just wanna select scan with Microsoft Defender. It's just good to, if you download something, to scan it. And as you can see, it says no current threats. So we're good, we can go ahead and install this to The Sims 4 safely. So now that we can see our mod file, go back down and right click the File Explorer and select Documents. This will open up the Documents folder on your computer. And from here, you wanna select Electronic Arts, The Sims 4, and then under The Sims 4, select Mods. So now what we need to do is drag the mod file for The Sims 4 into the Mods folder that we just opened up under The Sims 4. So as you can see, I just did that. And if your mod was in a folder, if there were several .package files, open up the folder and then drag each of those package files into the mods. Once we have our mod file inside the mod folder under The Sims 4, we can go ahead and open up The Sims 4. And then if you successfully moved the mod file into The Sims 4 mod folder, you'll see this pop up where it says mods and what mods you installed to your Sims 4. From there, select the check mark. And then all we wanna do from this main screen here is go up into the top right, select the three dots, and then go to game options. Once the game options open up, go to other. And then all we wanna do is just make sure that enable custom content and mods is turned on. It should be by default, but you just wanna make sure that's enabled so that your mods will work in game. From there, just select apply changes, and then you can go back and you've now added mods to The Sims 4. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel.